All right, listen, guys. We really, truly have to learn to master our emotions. Too many times we lash out due to our emotions in the moment and we blow everything we've ever worked for. I've been talking to you guys about emotional intelligence on how mental intelligence, you can master a lot of things. You can learn a lot of crafts. You can gain a lot of information and you can use that information to get really far in life. But if you don't have that emotional intelligence family, you can blow it all by just making a simple mistake and not necessarily a simple mistake, but a mistake in the moment, a decision in the moment based on your emotions. I want to let you guys know, I, I conceptualize this uh, being being moved by your emotions rather than having control of your emotions as being possessed. OK, so we, we always talk about how, you know, uh, in religion or, you know, folklore, demons can possess. That means they're controlling you from within. You're not making the choices on your own. It's the demon that's using you. OK, consider this. Emotions are the same way. When you allow that emotion to control you and you act out of your emotions, then you are being controlled by the emotion. This means that you're not going to move logically. OK, and so when you don't make your decisions based on your plan and you make your decisions based on emotion, this is how we get deterred from our actual mission. This is how we lose focus. You understand? So it's important that we have self mastery, learning that our emotions are master teachers, so to speak. OK, and I always say in order to be a master teacher, you must first be a master learner. So you should learn from your emotions. They are there to teach you a lesson, it's kind of like a check engine light in a car. You should explore what's wrong with your car, but there's nothing wrong with the check engine light. OK, so when your check engine light goes off, when your emotions are triggered, you should ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? OK, and make a decision based on the emotion after considering the emotion do the work family do the internal work you should always be doing this if you are explosive and you and you and you lash out in anger or in any emotion okay explosive it can look like as soon as you fall in love you, you you will be with this person even though you know it doesn't line up with your character a lot of you guys will leave your husbands and wives because you you feel like you fell in love with someone else or you're you'll cheat because you feel like you're in love and this emotion seems to allow you to break all of your rules break your your code your character you understand so you shouldn't even allow love to control you okay you should always ask yourself why you're feeling what you're feeling and deal with those those emotions internally before you make a decision before you do an action that's going to cause you to blow it all do you understand so especially in anger, do not move in haste. This is why I say be angry, yet sin not. It means don't do anything that would be catastrophic to your plan. Don't do anything that's counterproductive to your destiny. This is a sin to you, okay? So it will ruin your life to make some of these decisions. So many of us was fine and would have been just fine if, so, if they just left, left us alone. And, and, and them bothering us, we lashed out. And now we got to sit in a box or lay in one. You see what I'm saying? So... It's very, it's very dangerous, family, to be able to move through your emotions. So make sure that you, you deal with this. So again, if you are explosive, this means you're lashing out in your emotions before you consider your emotions and make and strategize how you're going to react with tact. Okay. If you are implosive, it means that you probably don't like confrontation. So you allow things to pile up, but you allow things to pile up. And not only do you allow them to pile up, you don't even deal with them in your mind. We should all be trying to uh, be our own psychologist, so to speak. Go inside of our mind, take ourselves back to the moment, relook at it, reconsider it, try to get a different perspective, try and see how the other person may have been thinking, and then come back with a different perspective so we can get over things and forgive situations. But if you are, impl if you are Im uh, impl implosive, then you've harbored these things up and you haven't dealt with them. So all of a sudden you go to the, per the people you care about or the person that you're angry with and you give them this list of things that they've been doing or, or have done. OK, family, this is a you problem for holding on to all of these issues when you should have dealt with them uh, as they came with tact and strategy. OK, not by lashing out, but by, with tact and strategy. OK, learn how to have a conversation to get what you want from people. Do you understand? Learn how to negotiate. We should be expert communicators by now. OK, we can't control each other. We can only it, try to explain what it is we want from someone and if they don't understand that maybe we need to work on how we're explaining it you understand and if we know we're explaining it to the best of our ability we need to consider moving around you understand because it's important that we don't keep people in our life who, who causes us to have these impulses especially if you can't handle your man frame or if you can't you know keep a a, a clear mind 
and stay intact. You know what I'm saying? Move with tact and strategy. Okay? So, guys, love each other. That's all fine, but don't even allow love to control how you move. If somebody isn't treating you right, don't allow love to keep you into a relationship because of love and emotion, family. Okay? You could be destroying yourself with time, and all of a sudden you're angry at them for, for wasting your time, and you saw the red flags, but your love is what caused you to ignore them. Like Mary J. Blige says, love is blind, but when you really think about it, family, why? We should always have vision. We should never be moving blindly, okay? So we should always hold each other accountable to the character that we set for ourselves. And if they can't live up to that character, don't use any emotion to hang on to this person. Don't use any emotion as a reason for revenge. Just simply use the emotions that you learn and experience through dealing with these people to grow because that's what emotions are for. You, it's part of the journey, family. So we should have been taught how to handle our, emo our emotions instead of not being taught and therefore we wouldn't react out of them being possessed so family discontinue allowing emotions to take possession of you okay many of us we 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 dismiss ourselves because of emotion and we don't deal with the fact that we lash out because of emotion so we use it as an excuse i was just angry you know i was just really upset i was having a bad day you know i was upset you know i've been sad you know i was going through something you know, and this becomes the reason that you break someone else's heart or do something or, or lash out at somebody. Come on, guys. We got to be better than that. OK, let's carry ourselves in a way that we want to be treated. All right. Learn to master your emotions. And I promise you, you will get further in life. You will also deal with less stress and stress is the number one cause of disease. So you will live longer and not only live longer, you will have life more abundantly as you won't get sick as much. You understand? So you are lowering your own immune system with your own worry, self-doubt, anger, depression if you learn to self master your self master your emotions okay be a wielder of your emotion using them as an advantage instead of allowing them to be a disadvantage you'll understand that emotions are another step to getting higher in life another step to climbing that mountain so be grateful for emotions because it's in your emotions that you learn pain is a learning mechanism family it will teach you a lot so is joy but we cannot forsake the other side of it family okay family be evolution, be the change that you want to see. No candle loses its flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it's in the middle of that chaos that you have found yourself. And you can never cross the sea until you have the courage to leave the shore. Peace, family.